So the other day I ordered this big pizza with six mega slices and just as I was about to start having it, my friend walked in. And as usual, when friends visit you, they happen to be hungry. So I offered her my pizza. Obviously, I can't give her the whole thing. I'm hungry as well. So what did I do? I basically gave her a part of it and kept a part of it to myself. I need to do this equally now. So I give her three slices and then I keep three slices to myself. And just as both of us were about to start having this yummy pizza, the doorbell rang again. And this time, it's Jimmy. Jimmy is hungry too. Now my brain is racing. I need to share my pizza with Jimmy as well. So what do I need to do? I need to divide it into three equal parts. So that's six slices getting divided into three equal parts. Two for my friend, two for Jimmy, the remaining two for me. And without actually realizing what we were doing here, the three of us were making the best use of fractions to ensure that no one's hungry and well, no one's angry. So, if someone were to ask me, what do you think a fraction is as a teacher? What do you think a fraction is? The simplest thing that I think that it is, is that, hey, a fraction is nothing but a number that's written like a division problem, right? So, if I were to represent one of the simplest fractions that you would say around you or say you would relate to half of something, right? Half, a very simple word which we keep using. I would show it like this, one by two. And what this means is simple. It's one out of two parts. Meaning that if I have a pizza here, I give one half to you and keep one half to myself, I basically have one out of two parts of the pizza. And in the pizza scene, we just went over with Jimmy and my friend. We had one pizza, six slices, three people which is why all of us got two slices each. As a fraction, what can I show that as? Two by six. And since two divides six three times, I can simplify that fraction and make it one by three. So fractions are important decision makers in our life. Say, to help you decide how much of a pizza you need to eat, how much of milk you don't want to drink, how much of playtime you have left before homework time starts, all of this. And yes, to even tell the time. You should know that quarter past, half past, you know, say 12 are fractions. In fact, all of time telling is a fraction of something by 60, right? With the exception of when it's time on the hour, like 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, at that point, it becomes a whole number like 60 by 60 is going to give you one. So how will you show 30 minutes past 60? 30 by 60. 36 minutes past the hour is 36 by 60 or three fifths, right? So any value of anything that is not a whole number. What do I mean by a whole number? I mean something like three, five, 10. It's a fraction, which is pretty much a lot of numbers, okay? And the amazing part here is that there are fractions like everywhere. If you don't believe me, try baking a cake without using fractions. When you put two eggs into the cake mix, you're using two out of 12 eggs, which is like one sixth of a dozen. In fact, every ingredient in a cake recipe is a fraction of something. Three fourth cup of milk, half teaspoon of salt, stick of butter, half a cup of chocolate chips, so many things. Can you imagine the disaster of the result of baking a cake, mixing an entire salt shaker, 10 liters of milk, throw in a couple of kilos of butter, a dozen eggs maybe, an entire bag of chocolate chips. You would either not have the most yummy cake or you will have a cake the size of a refrigerator. Another example, what's the fun of shopping if you don't get what a sale is? Half off, stock clearance sale. You must have seen these signs outside stores, right? It's pretty obvious that you can get that 10,000 bucks TV for 5,000 bucks. But what really attracts people to the store is the words, half off. It screams about a deal you're going to receive. Now imagine if the stores use the following sign, one by two. Not only is such a sign significantly less catchy than half off, it probably looks like some kind of a numerical code, right, for a secret agent to decipher. 
So you can generally rely on coming into contact with fractions in one form or the other, mainly as I mentioned before, because parts of a whole are going to be far more common than complete collectives of any one thing. 